Hello boys and girls, this is a little video to help you with our skip counting in tens. To help us do this, I have got bundles of lollipop sticks. Now each bundle of lollipop sticks like this has 10 lollipop sticks in it. So I am saying that this is one 10, okay? So here I have my first 10. So let's count how many bundles of lollipop sticks I have and each of them have 10 in them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I have 10 bundles of lollipop sticks. Now let's count them and see if we can count them by counting in tens. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We have 100 lollipop sticks here all together. Let's see if we can count backwards from 10. So we start at 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and zero. Now, if we look carefully at this 100 square, we can see that when we're counting in tens, we are counting down one of the columns in the 100 square. Can you see which column we are counting down? If you saw this column here, then you know that we are counting down 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then when we're counting back in tens, we're starting at the bottom and we're going all the way up to the top. I wonder if you can find anything in your house that you could count up in tens with. So maybe you might have pieces of rice. You could have tiny little pieces of rice and count, count them into groups of 10 and then count the groups by counting up in tens. Maybe you might have some coins lying around your house and you could count up how many coins you have by counting up in tens. Have a look and send in lots of pictures.